In the previous lesson, we understood the ideal and real voltage and current sources. Now, in this lesson, we will understand the dependent voltage and current sources. So, to understand the different dependent voltage and current sources, you need to watch the video. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Gaurav J. I am an electrical engineer and on this channel, I post videos related to electrical engineering, which will help you to understand the concepts in easiest way. So we have crossed 100,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for showing so much support to the channel. And if you haven't done that, do subscribe to the channel so that you get notified every time I upload a very easy to understand lessons, right? So now let's understand the dependent sources. Now, theoretically, there are two types of voltage and current sources available. One is the independent voltage and current sources. And another one is dependent voltage and current sources. Now let's first talk about uh, the independent sources. So the output of independent sources do not have any dependency on any other voltage or current in the circuit. And hence the name is independent sources. So an independent voltage source is a type of two terminal voltage source whose output does not depend upon any other voltage or current. This type of voltage source will give a constant output and the independent voltage source is denoted by this symbol. Similarly, an independent current source is a two terminal current source whose output does not depend upon any other voltage or current and it is denoted by this symbol. The arrow indicates the direction of current and whatever sources we have learned in the previous lesson of this series are independent sources. Now there is one more type of sources are there and they are called as dependent sources or controlled sources. So as the name suggests, the output of these type of sources depends upon other variable such as voltage or current or we can say it is controlled by some other variable such as voltage or current. So dependent voltage or current source behave same as independent voltage or current source. The only difference is that in case of dependent sources, the output can be controlled by an input voltage or current, which is not possible in case of independent voltage sources. So the voltage source that depends upon the input voltage is called as voltage controlled voltage source or VCVS. It is pretty easy to understand. This particular voltage source is controlled by the input source, input voltage. And that is the reason why it is called as voltage controlled voltage source. So similarly, there will be some source, there will be some voltage source which can be controlled by the input current and hence the name is current controlled voltage source CCVS. Similarly, in case of current sources also current controlled current source and voltage controlled current source. Clear? Now these are all the types of dependent sources. Now we will understand them one by one. Let us first start with voltage controlled voltage source or VCVS. Now this is very important because once you understand the voltage controlled voltage source, it is very, very easy to understand all the remaining sources. So I want you to have 100% focus on what I will be explaining in next few minutes. So let's take one example of a voltage amplifier. Now what is voltage amplifier? It is a device to which we give some input and as an output, we get a scaled output, right? So let's say, for example, you give 20 volt as an input to this voltage amplifier and at the output, you will have 40 volts. So it is scaled output. You're giving something else, but you're getting something else, which is bigger in the magnitude. So now what is happening inside this voltage source? Let's say in a very easy to understand language, we will say there is some multiplying factor is getting applied inside the amplifier and then we are getting the output, right? So in this case, the multiplying factor or the scaling factor would be two. We'll call it as mu. 
it is 2 in this case so hence if you give 40 volt as an input you will get 80 volt as an output so the multiplying factor is 2 right clear understood what is happening and this is the perfect example of voltage controlled voltage source because you are giving a input voltage and based on that you are getting the output and if you control the input voltage your output voltage will also be under control right and this is the perfect example of voltage controlled voltage source so you understood what is happening we are giving some input to that and some multiplying factors are getting applied to that and as a result we are getting output from this voltage amplifier so the output voltage we can determine using this simple equation so the output of a voltage controlled voltage source is equals to v out that is the output voltage is equals to mu that is our constant or the multiplying factor times the v input that is the input voltage you multiply the uh, multiplying factor mu with the input voltage and you will get the output for voltage controlled voltage source clear now the important point to note here is that this mu or the constant is dimensionless so the variable that is under control and by which we are controlling that variable is same so we are controlling voltage to get the voltage output so both are same so in that case the unit of uh, the constant would be volts by volts clear and it is a dimensionless quantity in this case also ideal transformer can also be dependent sources in which the scaling factor would be the turns ratio so if you change the turns ratio the voltage combination will also change right and by the way if you would like to master the concepts of transformer then i have a very easy to understand course on transformer which you can join using the electrical guy mobile app you will get all the details about the course down in the description there is a link given in the description you can click on that to get all the details and of course on the app you not only get the different courses on electrical engineering but you can also attain free practice test on different different topics you can check that out on the electrical guy mobile app download links are given down in the description go and check that out now coming back to the dependent sources now always remember this dependent sources is denoted by the diamond shape now we saw in the previous lesson in case of independent voltage sources or independent current sources the symbol consists of circle but when we talk about the dependent sources the symbol will always have diamond so to, just to differentiate between the two so whenever you see a diamond shaped symbol it's a dependent source right and what you can see on your screen is the symbol for voltage controlled voltage source right so i hope you understood the vcvs because if you have understood this then all the other sources are very very easy to understand it's just like a cake walk right now let's look at the another one the next one is current controlled voltage source or ccvs so you can see the symbol for that on your screen now this is also a very easy to understand so in this case what will happen we are giving current as input and using that current we are controlling the output of this particular voltage source and hence the name is current controlled voltage source if you control the input current the output voltage will also be uh, you know controlled and in this case the constant that we are using is rho so v out is equals to rho times the current input so whatever input you are give, uh, giving times the scaling factor or the multiplying factor and then that will be equal to the output of this particular voltage source now in this case the unit for that constant rho will be volts by ampere now the next source is current controlled current source or cccs now as the name suggests this current source can be controlled using the input current so you can see the symbol here the arrow indicates the direction of current so you are giving input current and by using that we are controlling the output current and hence the name is current controlled current source 
Now in this case, you can see the output equation I out is equals to beta times the current input. Now in this case, the constant or the multiplying factor is beta. And when you uh, multiply the scaling factor or the constant with the input current, you get the output current. Clear? And hence the name is current controlled current source. Now in this case, again, beta will be a dimensionless quantity and whose unit can be ampere by ampere. Now if you notice, in case of voltage controlled voltage source, uh, the constant was again a dimensionless quantity. So whenever we are controlling the same variable using the same variable, that means voltage control voltage or current control current, in that case, the constant will be dimensionless, right? Just take a note of that. So in this case, the beta is the constant and the unit would be ampere by ampere. Now the last type of source is voltage controlled current source or VCVS. Oh, I'm sorry for that. They, they should be controlling voltage and not controlling current here. So when you control the input voltage, the output current will be under control. And in this case, the constant or the multiplying factor uh, is given as alpha. So alpha times the V input will give you the current output. So we are controlling the output current by using the input voltage and hence the name is voltage controlled current source. Now in this case, the alpha, the unit of alpha would be amperes by volts. Clear? So these are the four different types of dependent sources that are theoretically available. So I hope this video helped you in understanding the concept in the easiest way. And if you find the video helpful, make sure you click on the like button and also do subscribe to the channel so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Right. So thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.